Good morning guys, welcome to today it is Saturday and we have something super exciting planned. A renowned professional horse whisperer reached out to us and is coming to our barn today to give us some tips and tricks to help us form a more natural attachment to Sabrina and we are so excited. Anyway, we are racing to the barn. She's coming to our barn, you guys. We are racing to the barn to meet her now and I am super excited to introduce you guys. guys so cold is it just me or does everybody get super excited when you're gonna see your horse for the first time and you haven't seen her for a day or two my heart starts to race and I get butterflies in my stomach because I'm so excited to see her every like blue and Sabrina get scared when it's really windy out and all the winds going yeah people have been sending us more horses to look at for the most part I've either seen the ad responded to the ad, not gotten a response back from the ad, or they said their horse is not good for us. But I read in the comments today, I forget who sent it, somebody sent us two horses, you know who you are because you said that you sent them to us yesterday and we didn't notice it, so please look. Anyway, we looked and one of them seems really good for us and it's kind of local, so hopefully, Fingers crossed, we'll have another horse to look at this week. Can you see her? Oh, she's spying us. Look at her. Can you see? She put her head up and she's like, oh, who's there? Now she's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, what a crazy horse. Jasmine's chasing her away. Oh, Jasmine's pushing her away. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that Jasmine. Jasmine's actually walking with her and putting her ears and making her walk. Aww. Imagine as a mom, you had that kind of power. You just had to pin your your eyes or something, put your hand up and give them a look and then they just went where you wanted and did what you wanted. It'd be amazing. There's my girl in her new champion blanket. Looking good, Sabrina. You look warm. That blanket looks warm. You look so warm. Buying us. Like, I, wasn't I love this blanket. I love your blanket. Hello. Yeah, funny story. Jasmine's blanket is blue and black. Yeah. Just like Sabrina's. Yesterday, a girl at one of the kids at camp went to put Jasmine's no, like a, halter on Sabrina. No, a camp counselor. Oh, a camp counselor. A and she put it on Jasmine's halter on Sabrina, and I'm like, uh, that's Sabrina. And Were you like, trying to get what? Sabrina? <laughs> no, I was helping Brianna get um, Spencer. Right, she's like, let's get out of here. Don't forget, there's a contest going on right now at championhorseblankets.com and somebody is going to win four horse blankets. Look at blankets that you need for your horse. You can win it in one shot. And I would love for one of our subscribers to win. It's championhorseblankets.com. They're not um, featuring this video, but I really want somebody from our channel to win. We are looking for tips and tricks on how to get your horse not to pee in the stall because every time we bring her up and we walk away, she likes to pee in private. Oh, she's like, don't leave me in here. Oh, I'm getting right away from those chickens. That's what she's saying. <laughs> it worked, you guys. She actually went out there. As soon as she thought we were gone, we were watching her through the window because we're sneaky like that. And she peed. Good girl. Did you see her pee? I was out here. Oh. Good girl, Sabrina. She's like, where's the hay? So what did you bring to the barn, my love? My schleich. So this is the new schleich that somebody sent you? Yeah. How did you manage to bring all of this? My backpack. The girls are in love with this girl with the big, huge, long dressage whip. Well, I'm, I'm in love with this horse. Most. 
You love this horse? Get the Wait. Thing. Now I have two lipid mares. Is that ours too? Yeah. So now you have two lipid Xander mares? Yeah. And you like this one the best? This one? Yeah, the new one the best? I yeah. love the halter. So we are, like I said, we are waiting for a renowned horse whisperer. This lady has been on TV, you guys. She's been on television. She's been at the Royal Winter Fair. She travels all over North America. She does clinics. She has her own YouTube channel. And she's coming here to our barn to give us a ground lesson and explain some aspects of natural horsemanship. And I, for one, am so excited. Yeah. Because clearly, we if you guys have been following our channel for any length of time, we really need um, to understand more of this stuff. We want to bond with our horse and be a part of her life and we want her to um, not be as spooky. We want her to trust us. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Laura and this is uh, Franny, my protege student. This is Franny and this Lindsay Partridge from Harmony Horsemanship. So thanks for having me here today. Thank you so much for coming. It's amazing. We're so excited. So come on in. So this is our horse, Sabrina. Oh, pretty pony. Yeah, she's so nice. So she's actually a long-term lease. Mm -hmm. And we have her till the end of June. Nice. And she's like, oh, you look like a... That's a boundary. Yeah, see, that's mm -hmm. what we suck at. <laughs> we are not good with boundaries. <laughs> boundaries are important. Yeah. Before we get started, I just wanted to um, share a little bit more inf information on Lindsay. For any of you guys who don't know, like I've already said, um, she has her own YouTube channel. She is a horse whisperer. She's been on television. She, you probably have seen some of her videos in the past. She took her horse shopping, <laughs> right? Is that what happened? You yeah. took your horse shopping? I love to tell people that if you have a calm connection with your horse, that you can take them anywhere. And so I've done downtown New York City. We've done Liberty in downtown Toronto. We've gone shopping inside. We That's even, incredible. Yeah, I went inside some buildings in New York City and like to do all sorts of crazy things. You might know me from taking my horse in the hotel. That story went viral last year, so. That's amazing. I remember that video too. Something that she said that really touched me in one of her videos that made me realize we really need her help is that she was at the Royal Winter Fair, I think, and she was taking her horse outside. There, were, there was traffic everywhere, and she was talking about how one of the reasons that her horse manages so well 10 days away from um, its herd is that she is the horse's herd. And this is something that we don't, our, we are not our horse's herd. She does not think of us as people who will keep her safe, nothing like that at all. And that really made me realize that we need help. Well, I'm gonna try to give you lots of little tidbits today about how to build confidence with your horse and how to be that herd for your horse. And I mean, you're already doing so many great things. This horse is calm and relaxed in here. There aren't any other horses in the ring and she's already so calm. And when I watch you guys riding, I mean, what a great horse and what a great job you guys are doing. She's just plodding around, going for a nice little trot and lots of great stuff going on. So I want you to know that you're doing a lot of awesome well, things. Well, thank you. That's amazing because I sometimes focus on all the things we're not doing yeah. right. You know what? There, I mean, there's so many opinions. And one of the things that I like to tell people is just as long as you're still learning and you're trying your best, like even me, even though I've you know, got so many championships under my belt and I've done so much and trained so many horses, I'm always trying to learn. Yeah, it's true. This is it's such a humbling true. sport because no matter how amazing you are, there's so many things that can happen that and you're always still learning. Yeah, there's, there's so much to learn for sure. And then when I saw the video of the spook in the fall, which is probably not very fun, I was like, oh, you know, I could help you with a few little tidbits. That's you're incredible. So many awesome stuff, but you know. Well, That's incredible. I'm so super excited. This tip usually blows people's minds because a lot of people do this and I used to be guilty of doing this too. When we bring a horse into the ring, a lot of people want to show the horse the whole ring. And I'm here to say, please don't do that. I'm gonna challenge you not to do that. I don't know if you do do that. Well, we take them for a walk around. Like... I'm gonna challenge you to not do it. Okay. Okay, and there's, there's, a couple, there's a couple of really big reasons why. And just play with it and see if it works for you. But the one big reason is that if you bring your horse into a, environment and you say let's go check out the ring let's go check out the environment usually what happens is your horse is now connecting with the environment and not with you 
Okay. So you're, the first thing you're basically saying is, I don't matter, I can't make you safe, let's go make sure it's all safe. It makes sense when you say it, and then, but a lot of people do it. And then the second reason is you're setting it up as a lie. And that's kind of a strong way to put it, but if you think about it, if you're walking your horse around the ring or you're showing them the environment, you're kind of saying, hey look, it's not scary. But what if the train goes by and it wasn't going by earlier? And you can't possibly show everything, right? So it's like if you were gonna go for a trail ride, you can't, you're not gonna go show the horse the whole trail route first. And even if you did, there might be something that comes up that wasn't there when you first showed them the ring. Right, so we need her to trust us. Yeah, and not be relying on seeing everything. Horses have different types of confidence and we need to train them for each different type of confidence. And we can't make an assumption that just because our horse can cross a bridge means that they can handle a scary noise. So there are tons of different types of confidences. We're not going to train all of them today, but I want you to kind of get in the idea of, okay, so I have to train my horses for movement, for stationary objects, things that are still, for things that are sounds, for things that are lights, for things that are other horses. So there are lots of different ways that we have to build confidence. The same way that you have to learn different subjects at school. You do math and English and science and everything else. We kind of have to do the same for our horses. And the more subjects that we teach them, the more confidence they're going to have. And then the last part that kind of goes with that is we have to do it all the way around our horse. I encourage you that after today, no longer take her to see things, only with her nose. Because horses, that's the first place that they gain confidence. Right, so where she spooks best. always is right from the bum. Right, <laughs> exactly. So we have to do a game that I call all around game. And so it's a game where we literally practice things all the way around our horse so that way they can build confidence. Because a lot of people do the game where they take a horse up to something and they let them sniff it and touch it. But we forget that if we always do that, then if something surprises them behind them, they're still likely to run forward or try to turn around. Just like how if you're on a trail ride, you can't predict where the bird is flying up out of the grass. All right, you guys ready to play? Yep. Yeah. All right, who wants to start with her? You go ahead. All right. <laughs> Some, some very basic stuff first. Okay. So what I want to start with first is I just want you to lead her around just like you normally would, but I want you, we're going to be aware of Sabrina's ears, okay? So we want to see how much does she pay attention. So I want you to start with just walking her around the outside of ring, the ring because that's kind of what you said you normally do, right? Yep. So go ahead and start that. Just walk her around the outside of the ring because I want you to notice what's going on with her ears and what's going on with her attention span. So we'll see how it's going here. So she said stop, Gabby. Yeah, so there, so see how she's nervous? So just stop, and I want you to take some big deep breaths, like, oh. Now I want you to imagine, I want you to put yourself in Sabrina's shoes, and she is legitimately scared, right? She scooted. So that's not right or wrong, that's not her being a bad horse, that's not her trying to be silly, that's just her legitimately being scared. Now if you were scared, what would you want your mom or your teacher to do? What would make you feel better? Your mom is your teacher. <laughs> Yeah. What would make you feel better? Maybe, yeah. Cool. So do you see by you just taking a second to stop and hang out with her and just be like, hey, cool, you're not in trouble. Do you notice how she like, actually kind of looked at you and now she's able to look at the spot that she was scared of and she even licked and chewed a little bit with her lips, brought her head down. Do you notice that? Yeah. So when a horse licks and chews and you didn't just give them a treat, it usually means that they're like, with them, I just learned something. Like they're having a big, deep thought. So one of the things that we can do for a horse when they get scared is acknowledge what they're scared of. Because what feels awful to both people and horses is when you go, oh my gosh, that is terrifying. And the person you trust says, oh, you're just being stupid. That's not scary. Like that makes you feel awful. So what I want us to sort of observe and notice is how the horse is when she has a plan and a focus and instead of just walking around the edge of the arena, she's going over different things and making lots of turns. Very good. So see these ears, how they're kind of out to the side? That's a listening horse. This horse isn't angry. 
because they're not flat back, she's paying attention. So this is really good. Good, and keep going over different things. So see how she kind of looked in the center there? So that little stretch of walking around the rail was almost a little bit too much for her. She disengaged just a little bit. Okay. So make even more turns. You can be really weird. Go through the around. pylons, Gabby. She needs you lots of... Need to move. Lots of turns. And you, you do, you're doing an awesome job because you've never been told to do this before, right? So this is all new. So you're doing great. Good. You can, you can do anything. Why don't you try going a circle around one of the standards? You can choose any one. You can't be wrong. Um. You choose. There's no wrong answer here. Could you see there that there was a little woman there where the horse went to look at the scary end of your arena? But because she turned and she had a plan, the horse flipped the ear back on her and was like, oh, okay, right, we have a plan, we have a purpose. So it's not, I wouldn't call it boredom. It's more, I'm worried, oh, yeah, 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 you've got a plan, I can stick with you. when you get down to the end of the arena where she gets a little bit more nervous we want to do more turns maybe do some circles and kind of keep her thinking so that way anytime she looks like she gets a bit worried you kind of turn her and say hey I, I noticed I noticed that you're upset let's uh, you know I've got a plan though come this way with me does that make sense so let's try see that pylon right down by letter C I want you to go and make a circle around the pylon, not the one that's around the, um, on the wall, because that will be, your horse is a little bit too big to fit between the wall and the pylon there. But this one here, we'll make a little circle. Good, I want you to do a full, complete circle. Keep turning, you're doing a great job. Notice how she's staying focused? Like she's not doing that scooting. Yeah, around. absolutely. Oh, there she goes. So turn, turn, so acknowledge. Are you scared of something? Acknowledge, look at it, look at the wall. Hey. Like, are you scared? Oh, you know what? I'm not actually scared, so let's continue. Yeah. So turn, turn away. Yes, yeah, good job. Great job. There's lots of things about treats. And uh, a lot of... I'm like one of the only professional trainers that uses a ton of treats in my training. Oh, we're, we I, could be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I take, I take a lot of sass from a lot of people about using treats with horses. And what I like to tell people is that with motivation, your horse is gonna learn so much faster. And the neat thing is that if you look at any other type of animal training, whether it's dolphins, yes. dogs, cat, every type. Even it. kids. Yeah, and so even, there are other horse trainers that do use treats. It's just not very common in the competition world. So for example, the Budweiser Clydesdales, they use treats. treats. And wow. Them, okay, so we're gonna use some treats, but there are some rules. And a lot of times, the reason why people don't wanna use treats is they're worried that the horse is gonna get rude. Okay, so come on over here for a second, and I'm gonna just teach you a little bit about treat etiquette. All right, so we kind of, we talked about boundaries already and making sure that we kind of assert our space. So when we go to give a treat, I want you to be careful that you don't let the horse come to your pocket. If Sabrina is kind of like right here in my pocket, that's rude, sweetheart. You can't come in. So I need to teach you your manners and say, remember, it's not about punishment. I'm not going to hit you. If you come into my space and get bopped by my flaring octopus arms, that's your own fault. But we need to be respectful. And then when I go to give you your treat, I'm going to step forward and bring you the treat way over here. So that way you're not coming into my space and being rude. Oh, she's shaking her head yes. She's like, yes. <laughs> she All right, two other little tips about giving treats. One is you can start to use a yes word. So with my horses, they know the words yes and bingo. And they are only getting the treat if they hear that word first. So that way it helps them know that a treat's coming and they shouldn't just ask for one all the time. So we can ask her to do little things and teach her a word. And you can use any word you want. One of my students uses the word taco. Her horse does something nice, she says taco, and then the horse gets a cookie. So what we're gonna do is something really basic, okay? But we're gonna do it for confidence building. So let's come over here to this pile in here. So we're gonna start to change it all around. And I want you to stop her like, kind of right beside it. Yeah, if she can't. Yeah, right beside her, that's good. I want you to say yes, and then I want you to give her that cookie. But remember, give it way over here, so that way she does yes. yes. Good, and then give it nice and a distance. Good. You always say that word first. The horse will know, I only get a treat if I hear that word first, okay? And then another little tidbit about using treats is if you always have your horse earn them, 
then they'll keep their motivation to try better. So if you give a treat for everything, like standing in the cross ties, getting brushed, it's not gonna mean as much as if you save it for working and doing something where she has to try. So that's just another little tidbit. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a handful of treats. Do you have a pocket you can give me zip? Oh, we can't be rude, remember we have manners. Oh, we have manners, we have manners. But see, it's not about the horse, it's just about me protecting the space. So don't come in here. So there she got touched by my hand, but I wasn't trying to hit No, her. that's right. And we're gonna start with just using these pylons. Look at, she wants the treats from her, but she won't go in her space. <laughs> She's like, yeah, can I keep her? Oh, but she'll come in here, it's good stuff. Ooh, don't come over here. Okay, so you already did at your horse's shoulder. So let's go to the next pylon and see if you can stop her with it by her hip. Her hip is her butt. No. That's okay. Good job. Could you come a little bit closer? Just a smidgey bit? Great job. Good. And then say yes. And remember to do it far away from you. Yes. Very good, Jai. Yes. Is uh, we want to make sure that we don't ever leave her on a stress note. So if she had a big spook or a startle with this, we want to repeat it enough times until she kind of goes, oh, that's really no big deal. Because otherwise she'll still be anxious when we come back the next time. All right, ready? So that time I kind of threw it a little higher. <laughs> because this horse is scared of that end of the arena is I get this all the time of the horse has won if you get off or if you don't go into the corner but you both lose if you're both scared and then you keep having spooky experiences so you have a choice and it's not right or wrong you just have options and you have option one which is you can work on the scary area and you can do things like the all-around game in the scary area try to make it a good experience there or you can say, you know what, I'm not ready for that experience yet. I'm gonna work in the spot where I feel safe. We're gonna gain our confidence here. And then we're gonna go there another day when we feel more together. And that's okay too. There's no right or wrong. We just can't have the expectation that we're gonna learn how to post trot or learn how to pick up the canter lead if we're also dealing with, we're terrified of that. Because we can't learn when we're scared. So we either need to work on the confidence or we can work on other things, but we can't do both at the same time. Well, watching your YouTube channel already in the last few days has really put me in a different place and a different mindset with our horse. I see her so much more as an individual with emotions and feelings mm -hmm. and um, than I'd ever did before, and that's been excellent. All Thank right, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Thank you for helping us with our horse, and I hope that it's really going to make a difference for her because I want her to be happy. Yeah, and for you guys too, to know yeah, yeah. some ideas that you can work with your horse in a way that whether you're a child or you're a senior or whoever you are, you don't need to be big, tough, and strong. You can just have compassion. That's right. Amazing. That's exactly what we want. Thank nice. you so much. Thank you. Normally she walks away and I'm like... There she goes. We are home from the barn. It is so late, you guys. We've been editing the video. Look, I found a unicorn. Oh my goodness. He's the cutest unicorn I ever like... saw. <laughs> so cute. I just finished editing our video for today and I had I loved meeting with Lindsay Partridge. Did you like meeting with her today? Yeah. Did you learn a lot? Yeah. I'm super excited to try a bunch of the things. If you remember in the video I introduced you or she introduced her protege Franny and she has a YouTube channel as well. I went there tonight to look at it. I watched a video where she taught her horse to lay down and it was the coolest thing ever. You want to do that? Yeah. yeah. I want to teach her to bow and then lay down so that I could get on her when she's laying down. Well, and then she could like stand up. And, I've seen people do it. Yeah, and they, these are the people <laughs> that do that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave the link to Franny's YouTube channel below as well as Lindsay Partridge's YouTube channel. It's called Harmony Horsemanship and that way you guys will be able to check out all the things that they have going on and learn some of the tips and tricks that she taught us today. That was just the tip of the iceberg. She has so much more going on 
and I hope you guys enjoy her as much as we did but we are off to bed and we will see you guys tomorrow for another amazing day um thanks for watching bye bye and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below